Okay, so I am three quarters of the way finished of making the seat bottoms for the rear seat of a 1970 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. I've got this panel over here done. I've got the center part done. Now I just have to make another panel to put over here that'll be on the passenger side. These are not three individual panels right here. The original panels, I notice, are just sewn with separations right here. So I got the measurements and I tried to do it the best I can. Now, just want to bring out that this is the very first time I'm trying to do this. And I've been doing this on a uh, Conso 225 industrial sewing machine. I want to bring out all the mistakes that I made on this. Again, this is a learning curve. I've never done it before. You have to learn somewhere. First mistake I made, well, not really a mistake, but I'm learning the value of good vinyl. This vinyl is uh, not garbage, but it's not quite automotive grade. I bought it at a uh, shop in the neighborhood that sells fabric. Of course, the guy told me I could use this vinyl for a car, but... Uh, Will it hold up? Is it fire retardant? And all those other marvelous qualities that are required, who knows? But for my purposes right now, it served the purpose. Um, I would definitely go and get the vinyl from an automotive supply house. Well worth it. Another thing too is, uh, here's the sew foam. No, no, the sew foam that I ordered isn't quite as good as some of the other ones I used when I was like teaching myself to sew straight lines and all that stuff. Not really happy with that either. As far as the workmanship is concerned, if you notice over here and here I have these bubbles. Well, the reason why that happened is because when I glued the vinyl to the sew foam, it was working in very dimly lit areas and I missed the glue. <laughs> Simple as that. See this bubble right here? There's no glue underneath it to hold it down. So lesson number one as far as workmanship is concerned, when you glue your vinyl onto your sew foam, work in a very well lit area. Normally I do it outside in my backyard during the day, but the weather here in New York City is starting to change, rain, this, that, the other thing. So I did it in my cellar and this is what happened. Okay, there's no glue underneath here. Uh, as far as materials go and everything else, that's about it. How I made this, if you see right here, there's welting. So the welting onto the center panel here. Again, another problem with glue over here. Uh, another thing I don't like, this vinyl seems to crease very easily. Just not made for what I was doing. Here's another one right here. Uh, what other defects? That's about it. Oh, over here, uh, there's one. Just this stuff just doesn't leave. When you tighten this, stretch this out, these bubbles leave, but... Uh, didn't want that to begin with. Okay. So, uh, we're going to continue on this project and see what happens. Uh, one of the best things I did do, though, in order to get more control out of my machine was to install a 50 millimeter pulley onto my reliable 4000 motor. What a difference that made. Uh, I have another video posted. You can see all about that. But uh, I highly recommend that to everybody. Um, so uh, that's it. And uh, once we put the other section on over here, we'll see what happens. Okay, so until the next.